Hello, this is a quick video on how to operate projection at the Ottawa Little Theatre. Uh, we're using the large projector that is in the booth and uh, the Mac uh, operating uh, QLab. So first thing you're going to want to do when you arrive is open up the lid and the program should wake up uh, in a locked window uh, ready to go. Uh, the program you're looking for is QLab. Um, if for some reason you discover uh, that it doesn't wake up where you're hoping it would wake up. Uh, if you uh, look on the desktop, you will notice that there is a link, and it's a link uh, to QLab. It should be the only link on the page, uh, and it sh you just click on there. Uh, it opens up. Uh, you're going to want to uh, hit the green plus button, uh, and you're going to want to uh, move into the um, upper right-hand corner and lock the window uh, in place. Uh, the reason for locking it in place is that uh, you don't want your, s your operating screen wandering to the left and appearing on the projection out front. It's important that you turn on the computer first. Uh, it doesn't always cause a problem, but uh, the projector likes to see uh, the computer as it turns on. Uh, moving to your left now, uh, you locate uh, the projector. Uh, it's nicely labeled on the top, uh, and basically we're looking for the button uh, that is the power button. To turn it on, it's only a single press. Uh, we single press that, uh, and you will notice that you'll see very shortly uh, a blue glow appearing uh, on the screen. You'll know that it's firing up. Before that, uh, you probably heard it, the fan engages. Um, if you have the screen down and you can see what's happening on stage, uh, at uh, some point it will start counting down uh, and you will be able to uh, see it counting down and, uh, and appearing. Um, you may or may not notice that uh, on the screen, that there may or may not be X's down the side. Uh, sometimes those appear when the, per, when the computer cannot see the projector. Uh, basically the trick to making those disappear uh, is uh, to fire up the projector uh, and uh, if those X's don't disappear on their own, if you minimize the screen and then maximize the screen, uh, then that usually uh, sorts out uh, the issue. Um, now that uh, the projector is up and working, uh, you're going to want to start um, with uh, the Start Here button. Uh, you'll notice that above that uh, is a note listing my phone number. Should anything go wrong or you're confused about anything, don't hesitate to call. Better to call early uh, because if most issues I can sort over the phone, but if I do need to come in, uh, then I'm going to need as much notice as possible. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to the Start Here uh, section, and I'm doing this simply by using the mouse, although you could use uh, the arrow keys, uh, and you want to highlight uh, the queue you want to go into. Uh, and this is different than on the lighting console. Uh, the highlighted queue is the next queue up. So if I press the Start Here button, uh, you'll notice that the light will seem to disappear on stage. What we're doing is engaging uh, a black slide, Without that black slide engaged, uh, we get light pollution on stage. Uh, this will stay uh, in place uh, as we move through. Uh, basically in the background, uh, it, it just keeps that black slide, but everything that comes up will come up in front of that. Uh, when we move into this test mode, uh, which I've just executed uh, on stage, you'll see a test pattern. Uh, and this lets you know that uh, number one, the projector is working, and number two, that it's aiming where it should be aiming, basically onto the screen. Um, the next button, uh, and I'm just advancing using the go button here, which is the space bar. Uh, when I press that again, uh, we will fade out that, and we'll be uh, appearing uh, in our uh, very first queue. Uh, so as you notice, all of the queues uh, will be labeled V1, V2, V3, um, so that you can keep track of uh, where you're at. Um, we can basically uh, then progress through the queues when the stage manager calls either um, the queue to come in or the queue to go out. Uh, it'll either fade in or fade out. You'll notice that there's a slightly different icon um, icon here. Uh, it, 
shows that you're going to engage either a picture or a movie. Uh, the icon that looks more like this uh, indicates that you're either fading in uh, or you are fading out. So right now, uh, I'm going to presume the stage manager has called me to fade out. I'll press that again and it will fade out. Um, on this particular show, uh, there is uh, one cue uh, that has sound and so if you do have any cues that have sound uh, it's a, a good idea to test those um, in advance uh, basically to make sure that uh, that your sound is working so this one is actually called a Christmas Story Witch so I'm just gonna press that and I can clearly hear that that is playing um, and I can get rid of it um, if you're if you want to fade and clear everything, uh, you want to hit uh, the B button, um, not the escape button. The escape button will make the button will make everything disappear, but you will get light pollution. So basically, as soon as I press that, uh, you'll notice that up on stage comes uh, the screen. Uh, if you do that by accident, the fix is to hit the B key, uh, and then everything will uh, work fine. Uh, so really it is then um, as simple as making sure you are queued on the queue uh, that is uh, going to be called next. Um, it should progress naturally onto the next uh, next queue. As I said, different than the lighting console, what will be highlighted is the queue you are about to go into, not the queue uh, that you are in. At the end of the show, um, once you've reached the last queue, um, you'll notice that there is a reminder to turn the projector off and close the lid. Uh, so basically what you are doing is going up to the projector again, uh, looking for the on off switch. If for some reason you want to do this during the show, uh, you're, you're going to have to take a bit of cardboard, uh, slip it in front of, carefully in front of the lens, uh, because as it turns off, uh, again, you'll get light pollution. So basically you're, you're, uh, you're locating the on off switch, which is labeled here. You're pressing it uh, once. It prompts you to say, do you want the projector to go off? And you press it again. That prompt will appear on the projection, but obviously if you've got the projector blocked, it's not gonna show up. So basically it's one press, uh, wait a beat and press again. You'll know when the projector goes off uh, because the green light will disappear uh, from the front uh, and you'll also hear a distinct noise of, uh, of a, a clunk as, um, as the projector uh, lamp kicks out. Um, important point to note that if you accidentally turn off the projector and you want to turn the projector back on, uh, it will take some time. You'll notice that it's red right now. You will have to wait for the green light to appear uh, before you can actually turn the projector back on so be careful uh, when you're turning it off um, not to turn it off before you need to turn it off uh, once you've completed that simply fold down uh, the laptop you're done and away you go um, I'm gonna make a few more videos that will deal with uh, troubleshooting uh, but basically that's all you need to know to operate projection uh, for a standard show at the Ottawa Little Theatre